we live in a time where technology and gaming has never been more advanced, yet it feels like every big game that drops recently has come out half-baked and unfinished with an emphasis on making money over anything else. I understand that companies have deadlines to meet and all, but it feels like they aren't putting passion into things that we love and are really pieces of art and history that define our generation. And I feel it's getting harder and harder to support these companies who are using beloved fan bases and successful IPs to make shallow games that are have the sole intention of making money off an already successful thing. Take the new Call of Duty for example. They used the name Modern Warfare 2 to then have the greatest successful launch of a game in history. And what did they do after that? Damn near abandoned the thing. The game came out in October and it didn't get an, an actual update until December. And even in that update, they only gave us two old maps. And there was nothing new about it. But they used the name Modern Warfare 2 to get those sales. And they did a disservice to the longtime fans of the franchise like myself. And we've seen this time and time again with company after company. And my patience has run very thin. And I've sort of lost my love for gaming recently as to why I haven't uploaded in so long. So I decided to try something new. I thought back to the old days when my love for gaming was fresh, and I thought, what was so good about all those old games? Like, what really kept me invested in them? And what made them so enjoyable? So I went back to the greatest game of all time! Skyrim, baby! Woo! crazy to me that with just a few simple mods I can create an entirely new experience for myself in a game that I've played probably seven or eight times throughout its course of existing and it's one of my absolute favorite games of all time but how is it that this game can look feel and play more like a next-gen game when it came out in 2011 as soon as I finished my first rerun through this game I went back and restarted it immediately I still can't fathom how gaming companies today can't meet this standard when people in their basement make mods more efficient than their actual game. I mean look at this, it looks unreal. How can games just release these half-baked versions of great titles and great franchises and just put so little care into them just because they have to meet a deadline or whatnot? Skyrim takes such great care in its lore and world building, side quests, sure it has its bugs and issues, of course it does. It came out in 2011, but games nowadays, even if they have this massive open world style that everyone wants to achieve, but there's no care into it, it's empty and hollow, just like all of the games that are re releasing currently as we speak. There's nothing. To, there's no reason to keep playing, there's nothing pulling me back and in, in immersing me. Sure, there's games like Breath of the Wild, God of War, Elden Ring, and those aren't who I'm talking about here. Those games are masterpieces, and everyone tries to copy them, but in doing so, they lose their identity of what they're good at. Take Assassin's Creed Valhalla, for example. It has a great concept, it looks beautiful, but there's nothing that keeps you playing. There's nothing that makes it different from anything else. It, it just does something that someone else did better in a worse way. These game companies make these massive promises that they can't follow up on and expect you to just be okay with the mediocrity or unplayability of their own game. It's getting really hard to support these companies that I grew up loving 
and even something like Overwatch 2, who it's literally just a reskin of the original game, but you have to buy the skins again and do all the same things over and over again just because they think you love the IP enough to just keep playing and keep spending money on their game. And it's becoming harder and harder for, for me to play modern games. As you can see, I went back and played Skyrim and I've put in like 30 hours in the last week just because it keeps me in. It, it, it's an escape and it is what gaming should be to have a character that you can take your own spin on and go in different directions and have personality in something that you can just do things in and just have fun and enjoy it where it's like everyone wants to be the best at something now and it's constantly competition and about winning and all this stuff and making it big and that's not what I want I want to just have a good time on my on a video game when I get off of work or get done with school it's just super frustrating to me and I'm really sick of it take a look at games like Forspoken, Battlefield 2042, Valhalla like I mentioned, Overwatch, Cyberpunk the list goes on and it's just becoming impossible to support these big suits behind the company that aren't actually making the art that we're used to, like Skyrim and like these classic games. And my advice to you is to just go back and reevaluate why do you like playing video games? Why are you there? And just do that. Because I was going through a rut with, with video games where I just didn't want to play anymore. And I lost my love for something that I just cherish about my day is playing video games. It's one of my favorite things to do. And that I can't even do that in peace without having to drop $70 on the newest game just to be let down within two weeks and never play it again. And it's really frustrating for someone who enjoys playing games with his friends and and creating these moments with my friends, as you've seen on my channel. That's the only thing I like uploading is because I cherish those funny moments with my friends. And the fact that I can't even do that anymore in like my own safe space is just becoming really frustrating and I'm... I'm done with it, honestly. So just go back and play the games that you love and just continue to enjoy them. And we can only hope for the best and by not supporting these companies anymore. Thank you for listening to my message to these big companies. And I hope that they can right the ship and turn things around because I know others feel the exact same way as I do. And I've talked at length with many people about this exact subject. So I thought I'd just make a quick video on it to explain how frustrated I've been and I know others will be soon so hopefully someone sees this and is like oh maybe I'll not make a shitty game <laughs> who knows but that's about it thank you guys for watching